Good morning guys, it's Jonathan with Bob CNC. Today this is going to be a real quick one. We're going to go over the line and the grid features before we talk about toolpaths in our next video. So I want to go to our line feature. Now you have an X start point, a Y start point, an X end point, and a Y end point. This is going to be position on the grid you want the line to start and the position on the grid you want it to end. So we're going to start at X0, Y2, and I want it to go to X10, and end at Y5. So it's then going to go from our X0, Y2 to our X10, Y5 in this direction here. So I'm going to delete that. So as long as you know where you want your start point to be and your end point to be, then you can type that in and it's going to create a line. Now the last thing we want to cover is we have a grid function and it's going to determine so we have our the length of our grid and I want it to be 24 inches you have the width of your grid I want that to be 24 inches and then you have your grid spacing so this will be how much distance you have between each one of those lines so what I'm wanting to do is I'm making a grid say if you wanted to cut this into your spool board and you wanted to have a grid out on there so you could position your workpiece so I'm going to do it in one inch increments and then that would create this grid right here. Now each one of these is individual lines, so let's say you wanted to, to cut one of these out or delete one or two of them, then you could. But you can select all of them and then you can make toolpaths later with them. Anyway, that's all I have for today. We'll see you guys later.